844. Does it get more beautiful than that? Holy, look at our Friday morning unfolding before us. And then you add Ned Bell to the mix. Chef Ned Bell, best chef in Canada. We recently. just got to meet Alton Brown thanks to Jody Vance. Nice yeah, job. Did. How cool is that? What a cool guy. It was fun, right? Yeah, his show, if you get, get a chance to go get tickets, I've seen clips of it online. It's like hilarious and educational and fun. And Great for kids like Max Bell and Brady. Kids like me. And, and me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so go. And that's at the Orpheum tonight at 8. But Chef is here to talk about not just this beautiful piece of sustainable Oh, tuna. tuna. Yeah, but the home oh, show. But what's, sorry, I yep. put my arm right through the shot. But what are these? What are these berries over here? These are hascap berries, also known as blue honeysuckle berries. Now, they, I found these actually on my journey across, as, I, as I rode my bike across Canada this past summer. And they're just, imagine like a, a kind of an oblong or an oval-shaped blueberry, really high in antioxidants. Um, they're wicked. So I wanted to do a really quick dish. I'm demoing this dish on stage with Steve Johansson from Organic Ocean today at the home show. Um, but you're going to do it for us right now, and I'll get started. But I'm going to do for it for you right I'm now. So spoiled. The cool thing, so this is, Steve Johansson calls this high decor, albacore, high decor. So this is caught off the north coast of Haida Gwaii. Why this is special is the waters up there are really cold and so the tuna is really oily. The, the great thing about this tuna as opposed to other tunas. Albacore tuna is sustainable, smaller fish, l uh, less time in the water, so no mercury, none of that. Um, but the flavor is incredible. And just like a steak, the oilier the tuna, or the oilier the steak, the fattier, I'm sorry, the more flavor. The more flavor. Yes. So um, that's why we love albacore tuna at uh, you at the Four Seasons. Now, um, the cool thing about tuna is, of course, you can eat it raw, mm -hmm. as you probably should. I, I do enjoy it raw. Yeah, I mean, yes. sashimi, sushi, all of that good but times. But also rare. But also, also delicious. Exactly, rare. So we have a, a gorgeous uh, stove grill pan here. And we're just going to put that in there, and it's going to sear away. Yeah. All we're actually really trying to do is warm it. So great sashimi is served, you know, nice and cold. But uh, in this case, uh, we're going to serve it just slightly warm. What while are these called again? Hascap berries. Hascap berries. Yeah. So while uh, the tuna is grilling, we're going to make, first, like, look at the juice in the bottom of. I it almost know, looks like pomegranate juice. Yeah, it's so, like, rich. deeply rich and, and gorgeous. Um, you can just like see the goodness. Of course, food that has great color, greens, reds, oranges, purples, yellows, is the best for you. Right. Right? So the more colorful the food is what I often try and say to, to Max Bell, my little boy, who I think is probably watching at home before he goes off to school. Hi, Max eat, Bell. Eat food with great color, Max, and you'll Can't be a better wrong. hockey player. I use the same on gravy. Right? Like you need this smashed avocado right now. Right, because it, no. it makes you a Eat better it makes you a better skater. Right. right? So um. what we added is another <laughs> wicked ingredient. Birch syrup. Have you ever had birch syrup before? No. So you need to try okay. birch syrup. I'll so try. imagine like maple syrup and molasses. Now this is from a birch tree. This is also from northern BC. Mm. Isn't that incredible? Like it's so incredible, right? It's hard to describe. Right. There's but, a sourness to the sweet. There's right, a balance. Right. It's like molasses, and you're right. It's like a little bit of sour. Your mouth just goes. Pow. I know. I want it, it on. I want pancakes now. Right. Like right now. <laughs> it's funny. I, for Dino Vancouver, I did uh, a wicked dish with pancakes and the birch syrup. But that you know, whenever I go to the home show, um, especially the one in Vancouver, I really want to show products from BC because, of mm -hmm. course, it's all about Vancouver. But I also want to show recipes that are super simple. So I'm on stage today at 2.30 with Steve if you want to come and watch this recipe and even get a little taste of it. Taste. But yeah, recipes, the home show. What time did you say? 1 o'clock? 2.30. 2.30. Okay, good to know. Because I, I got to go to see Alton at 1 o'clock and his coordinates, right? First, so. You get the flash signing. <laughs> We're both such huge Alton Brown fans. Well, who we isn't? The guy is it. like a ton of fun. And at right. the end of the day, food has got to be fun. When food is fun, it's approachable and easy. And it's kind of like working with you, Jody. We always have a good time. So, <laughs> it's just my favorite Friday ever here on Breakfast I know, you, you're the, gonna like geek out here. I, or totally, something. and the crew, the crew in the uh, control room and everybody around here is just like, oh, just plate the tuna. Just plate, plate the tuna. The tuna. Plate I want the to eat the tuna. Are we in a rush? Are we, are uh, I don't know, how much time do we have left? We've, we're very short on time, so we can show we can show the finished product after the break, because we are gonna discuss. Okay. Do you ever do the gross grind? You finish it up, no, no I, rush. I absolutely do the gross grind. You don't do the gross grind when it's closed, though. 
I do not do the, I don't go out of bounds at any local ski hill. Yeah. <laughs> Very good boy. Way to say that live on the air, like it's true. It people, is true. People are kind of wrecking the gross ground right now. Oh. Might open late. We're going to talk about this and you're chiming in on what maybe the punishment should be for defying the signs and going up there anyway. We're going to also eat some tuna next. We're back in a moment on BT.